We want to welcome you to our 20th anniversary of the Emma Chase Friday Night Music. What makes these events so special? I'm just going to give you a little bit of background about the um, events. First, I think it's the place, the Flint Hills. We all know that this is a, a very magical place in, in a world with increasing development and congestion. You come out to the Flint Hills, you, you drive into Cottonwood Falls, and it leads you through ranching country, soft rolling Flint Hills, tall grass prairie winding between bluffs of rocky grasslands. And then you come into town and you turn up the wide brick-lined street, face the Chase County Courthouse with its smooth white limestone walls and red mansard roof, tall clock tower, a show place of its time in 1873 and still today. So this is the home of Friday Night Music, a custom that started 20 years ago, 1999, when a few local musicians decided that they wanted to gather up and play songs on the street in front of the Emma Chase Cafe. So Sue and Monty Smith called the jam sessions Tall Grass Pickens. Sue and Monty hosted the Friday night music every Friday night for 15 years. The weekly events eventually earned the uh, Kansas Sampler Foundation's Eight Wonders of Kansas Customs Award. The Friday Night Music also added to the Kansas Department of Wildlife, Parks, and Tourism's bucket list of must-see things to do in Kansas. So the jam sessions were unusual. A great variety of musicians would appear, all playing for free. The Smiths encouraged folks to come early and partake of their catfish dinners and famous pies sold under the sign, pie fixes everything. And you could serve yourself a little bit of coffee during the music if you wanted, but this non-alcoholic, virtually non-profit event was a gathering of pure local culture. Something special today. So in 2014, the Smiths announced that they would retire at the end of the year, close the Emma Chase Cafe, and also the Prairie Pastimes venture here, which they had started. Regarding the music, four of us decided that we just could not let this jam session tradition die out. Uh, so we each took a weekend of music uh, that we would be responsible for hosting. And then another critical piece that happened was the Prairie Pastimes artists decided to form a co-op to continue their Flint Hills Arts and Crafts store that we are in right now. And this is a group of over 50 artists providing arts and crafts to the local community and visitors. And thankfully, Prairie Pastimes said that we could continue to meet here. We also appreciate our other venue host, and that would be the Symphony in the Flint Hills. Their board and staff allow us to set up outside in the summertime, weather permitting on the street and sidewalk in front of the beautiful Symphony in the Flint Hills gallery that's down towards the end of the street, just on the corner, right across from the Chase County Courthouse, which is such a beautiful thing. So on these evenings, we can enjoy the Symphony Gallery art and gaze up at the beautiful courthouse, which is lit up at night and all its splendor. It's a nice place to sit. And uh, folks bring their lawn chairs and we just have a, a real nice evening. We have had, I am sure, hundreds of musicians that have participated in these jam sessions. Tonight are just a few of them and I really thank them for agreeing to be part of this special program. We're usually all up here on stage together and then we just take turns go down the row and everybody plays a song and we all play together but we were afraid that with this many musicians we would be here all night if we did that so also we really wanted tonight to especially showcase our musicians and honor them and emphasize the variety of talent that we have here when i live
So 20 years later, here we are, and what has been the impact of these weekly events uh, on the participants? Well, for the guests in the audience, we hope, uh, it provides free family-friendly entertainment and spreads the joy of traditional music. And then for the musicians, it helps them learn to play their instrument with others. This is a big deal. It's one thing on your bed at home, but when you want to get your timing and everything up, play with other people, it stimulates musicians to broaden their musical repertoires. You just learn so many other songs. Provides a place for songwriters to try out their new material. Most importantly, it gives the musicians an audience and that strengthens their performance skills. It's really important. So all of us musicians and listeners, just have a good time. We're part of a positive and open community where everybody is welcome. Now I'm high atop my rocking chair, I gaze out on the lessons that a lifetime of living is meant to show. Now all I really needed was your love to bring me blessings and time to make me wise enough to know. This little old life, it just suits me fine. And this little old house, well at least it's mine. My little old dreams have all come true. Cause a little old love, and then low you. Cause a little old love, and then low you. The sessions engender and support numerous local performers and bands who go on to provide live entertainment at numerous events in the area. In so doing, they have enriched our area's musical culture. There's a real Flint Hills music tradition now. Thank you. to thank our 501c3 nonprofit foundation, the Center for Living Education, for adopting our event under their umbrella of activities. A lot of you musicians probably don't even know about this foundation, but without them, we couldn't exist. What effect have the jam sessions had beyond these walls? Well, they attract visitors from all over Kansas, the United States, and even the world. Uh, provides an unforgettable, authentic American experience. People tell us, there's nothing like this anywhere else. Well, the 